The following may contain language that is not suitable for all audiences. for finding us the low fact podcast with dave and uh lord lord high class over here whatever lord fancy pants you're the one who's little lord fauntleroy it's fauntleroy oh and no i'm not i'm just a poor immigrant child anyway that's a lie by the way it is so isn't i forgot what we're going well i don't know i mean here's a topic sure it's it's my favorite quote from my favorite movie about how being somewhere outside of Barstow before the drugs began to take hold the well that's that's my second favorite quote but no this is Roy Batty in Blade Runner and he says you lost me at Roy why I just everything everything after that just came he's a replicant right he's a robot oh okay and in in his like the put him in his in his death scene he says it's quite a quite a thing to live in fear isn't it that's what it is to be a slave. So do you think that, I mean, we, we've talked a little bit about this, but do you think the mask wearing thing is about keeping people fearful so you can control them? No, I think the mask wearing thing is giving people something to do to make them feel like they're in control and helping. Because they have... For, to- for some, and then for everybody else, give them something to hate and be mad about. But if it's the first thing then that would suggest they don't have a handle on it. They don't need to. Because it's not serious. No, they just they don't need to. Well, what do you mean they don't need to? Huh? They don't need to because what? Because it's not serious? Because... If you're, if you're in command or if you're controlling a population, you don't really... All the thing you need to do is control the population. <gasps> what... What do you mean the only thing you need to do is control the population? I mean... Whether it be through carrots, sticks, whatever, the only thing you need to do is control the population. Well, they're sure doing a good job of controlling the population on mask wearing. Well, no, the population is doing it for them. Everybody's like... I don't know about like other states or other parts of LA, but in my part of the city, everybody's wearing a mask outside in fucking broad daylight and direct sunlight. Irrespective of whether or not they're around people or not. Well, that that means that the the area of town you were in is the area where people believe that, you know... They believe everything they're told. I don't know if it's they believe everything they're told, but I, I, do, I do think that the whole... That the, I mean, if, it was, if this was something that, uh, that someone concocted in a room, like it's, it's, it's sheer genius. You know, you get everybody involved... People go take sides, <laughs> and you don't have to do anything. Yeah, until it's until everybody says enough's enough. Nobody's gonna say that. Why not? People are too afraid to die. So you would have to have a whole lot of things go really, really bad to have a, a bunch of people desperate enough to be like, you know what, fuck it. Yeah. So there would have to be like major economic fucking. Coll- I don't know why you think everything is surrounded economics. Economics is fake. Money is fake. Your uh, your uh, your 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 faith in it is fake. You're, you, and and all this and and people are taking and getting very real stuff and trading it for this fake stuff. That's number one. And you know people think that they're being really really great and wise, saying, "Well, you know, you know, it, it does buy very real shit." No shit, Sherlock. I was just about to say that. <laughs> you, beat, you beat me to... That was going to be my comment. No shit, Sherlock? No, my comment was going to be, if it's fake, then how come you can't fucking get by without it in the society that we live in? Which is also fake. The society's fake? Society is fake. Ugh. It is unnecessary to life. You know what's necessary to life? Food. Fucking and somewhere to sleep. I didn't mean to be crass, but I did. So, I'm so offended by your crassness. Um, but 
What were we talking about? Fear. I oh, wanted yeah. to talk about fear and how the the quote, which is that's what it is to be a slave. You know, everybody fear. everybody that's not faced with fear talks about how they're not afraid. Like when you sit there and ask somebody sitting at a bar sipping, I don't know, mojitos. <laughs> are you <laughs> are you scared to die? I think most people be like, take a big long sip. Nah. <laughs> you take that same person, put them in a foxhole and have shit exploding all around them. And you say, are you scared to die? And if they just got there, they'd be wetting themselves at that point and too scared to answer. So, you know, it is environmental. And fear is environmental. Uh huh. Isn't it? Who's, gonna be, who's scared all the time? Slaves. According to a movie that you consider really good. Yeah. In which I think is kind of... I mean, they're basically an enslaved class. The robots are enslaved class, and they have no rights. That's like saying my typewriter to, is, is, is enslaved. But they're trying to... The, just be with me for a minute. The Muppets right? can't before take you, Manhattan. Before you shit on my, my favorite movie, just be with me for a minute. That's your favorite movie? The director's cat of Blade Runner is, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> and you know what? There's a lot of people listening who understand, and you uh, that you have no taste in movies. The same can be said about you. Have you seen Blade Runner? I've seen all so you know three what I'm versions. Talking, you know what I'm talking about, then? I don't. I storyline out of all of them. The, the slave, the, the enslavement of the replicants. Okay. Anyway, the Muppets can't take Manhattan. Because they got no feet. And, you know, are slaves always fearful? I doubt it. Why not? Like, if you're, if you don't have the same. When do you think, when have you been able to sustain a single emotion all the time for. Well, I haven't been. Days. But I haven't lived in. um, Months. I haven't lived. I haven't passed a kidney stone either, I, and it doesn't. I don't need to, to to sit there and go, "Ooh, that's probably not very pleasurable." Right. So you're saying it's impossible to be living in fear all the time? Yes. Because you're going to have some anger mixed in there. You're going to have some good times mixed in there. And I, I and I know I'm I'm kind of like veering off. You're from dismissing the, it. I'm not dismissing it at all. I'm just veering off from the topic that you threw out, but which is fear. But fear is a pretty primal and strong emotion. What makes you think you could sustain that for very long? So you think fear is good or bad? Fear is a. It can be useful. I don't think. I don't think it's either good or bad. There are situations where it can be both. There are situ- well, there are situations where fear can be good, and there are situations where fear can be bad. It seems like if you are living in fear of your whatever your life, your family's life your freedoms being taken away or not having any freedoms, that would not be a very fun life. I mean, that would be a difficult existence, I would think. Well, it's an existence to try to get you riled up. Um, what? If you're a freaking slave and you get riled up, you can't do shit. Well, maybe you can. What, what can you do? Well, I'm not saying that you can or you can't. I'm just saying you got to think about it. If you're a slave, then why would they care? Why are they? Why are they trying to rot? Why? Are, why are you being riled up? I don't know. Well, because there's not that much control. Maybe if we're talking about the antebellum South, pre-Civil War days, I think there was like what nine million people living in the South. Okay, and half of them were slaves. Like four million of them were slaves. Really? Yeah were African slaves. So that could have just overthrown everybody. That was the big fear, which is why in the South, black people couldn't be educated. Black people couldn't be, you know, they wanted to tightly oh, control it was, them. It was that, it was that, I have no idea. That, that and then, and, and the whole, the whole, what was it? The three fifths compromise. I, you know, for all you people out there that don't, that haven't learned history quite well enough, it wasn't about slavery. <laughs> The, the, the three-fifths compromise, or, yeah, the three-fifths compromise, it was all about 
The people in the South wanted each black slave to be counted as one person for population purposes so they could have more representation in Congress. And the people up north were like, wait a second, if these people can't vote or anything, why are we going to count them as one whole person? So that's when they decided to compromise, and they'll be like 60% of a person. I don't think a lot of people know that. Well, I've, I've, I've had a lot of people kind of... I've had some people kind of explain it to me and, it, and explain it incorrectly, but they were so vehement about their knowledge of it that I just... And there it goes, right? In that case, it was a situation where I was okay with 100% um, you know, imperfection because... You were dealing with an idiot. Well, that too, and I just didn't want to... I didn't want to engage. Maybe that would be a good topic to not engaging. No, do you, do you, do you, yeah. Is like if somebody is a freaking moron, idiot, like convert to some stupid viewpoint, then is it even worth engaging with that person? Well, that that's kind of that's a that's a uh, that's a puzzle, right? Because there's the people that believe the timeout generation needs to. Have not had so many timeouts and had more of the ass whipping that the ass whipping generation, you know, yeah, has a. Uh, I never got an ass whipping. Yeah, look how horribly you turned out. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you for ass whipping then? Um, uh, no, nah, because you know, I got, I got, I got spanked quite often. Hell, I got spanked into adulthood by, didn't really... by different people, and uh, you yeah, know, you did it well physically, but you know. It just made me into a more obstinate type person. Tend you into smart us. No, no, it just made me a little bit more obstinate. I'm not the type of person that, that you can beat to uh, to get me to do something. I mean, I know a little something about pain, and while I don't enjoy it, it's not something that motivates me very much. I don't like pain. And it's something that motivates you quite well. It certainly is. So, you know... Plus, I'm quite fearful, funnily enough. Which also motivates you quite well. <sighs> I wish I wasn't, though. Well, if you weren't, you would be dead or clueless. No, I would like to be less fearful. And that would make you clueless. Not necessarily. Sure. Dude, don't you think that, 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 that everyone's operating on, on the same amount of fear? No. I mean, if you, were, if you were out, you know, if you were out in the middle of a riot... And all kinds of cacophonous stuff was going on. Don't you think that everybody has the same amount of fear? I don't know. Because I feel like, well, okay, maybe the same amount of fear, but then there's different reactions to fear. Because while like, I'm all like the a same, possum, I'm like, <clears throat> I'm like, freeze. I freeze in a situation of fear. Well, for how long? I don't know, but have you ever seen what a possum does? No. Like, I, I'm talking about a New Zealand possum now, so I don't know about the possums here. I've Maybe never the been. possums here are some cool customers, but <laughs> in New Zealand, the possum goes, and it just stops still like you can't see it. <laughs> okay. Or it will run from you and run up a tree and then, then freeze two feet up the tree because it's safe in the tree. Or it's terrified and it's freezing. Okay. Well, on that note, the fearsome New Zealand possum. <laughs>